Hi, and welcome to the Intel RailSense tracking camera T265 unboxing and getting started video. I'm just going to show you what's inside the box and some very basic steps, how to get started and see that your tracking camera is working correctly. So first of all, the first thing in the box is the insert, which will show you the getting started URL that we're going to need a little bit later. So that's realsense.intel.com forward slash get dash started. And if we open it up, you can see that there's a, some regulatory information and then some diagrams about what's inside the box, which we're going to show you right now. So first and foremost, the camera, if we take the protective film off the front of the camera, you'll be able to see the lenses there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's two fisheye lenses that you can see in the front of the camera. This is what uh, tracks the space around you and we'll actually be able to see the feed from that camera later. Pull out the holder and inside you also see we have a cable for the camera. Notice one of the things that isn't in the box is there's no tripod in this box. This camera is designed to be on things that move, so having a tripod or a tripod mount doesn't really make a lot of sense for this particular camera. So the cable is a USB 3 micro B, and this camera will run on USB 2, but um, if you want to see the live feed from the cameras, you will need uh, the USB 3 connection for that data. So now we have the camera unboxed, we're going to go ahead to that URL that we uh, saw earlier. That takes us to another page that looks a lot like the insert, has the same diagrams, but it also has the GitHub link where we can go download the software that we need. So if we follow that link, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and we're just going to download the Intel RealSense viewer. You will need other pieces of software to actually work with this camera. But right now, what we're just trying to do is get started, see the output from the camera, and understand that it's working. So all we do is go ahead and plug that in straight into our USB 3 port. And on the other side, into the camera. And then we open up the viewer. And so once you turn the camera on, you can see that now we're getting the feed from those two fish eyes. And you can see that as I'm moving that camera around, you're also seeing the rotational information. And if we switch to the 3D view, by clicking in the top right corner, you can actually see the path that I've moved the camera through. And if I want to restart that, I can just hit pause and then start the camera again. So you can see as I'm moving my hand around in space, you can see the track on the screen behind it. This shows us the camera is working perfectly. Thanks for watching.